Hello, 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 hello. Hey, <coughs> today I would love to draw doggies. I do have experience drawing dogs, but usually only my dog and a couple pugs. So I thought today I could challenge myself to see how many different dog breeds I could draw, and we'll see how many we can fit on this spread. If that sounds like fun, I hope you'll join me. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna use uh, Pinterest probably for some references, but maybe we should start with what I know, which is my doggy. I have a way of like stylizing him that doesn't necessarily look like him, but is like the cartoon version of him, if that makes sense any sense. <laughs> so usually how I draw him is I kind of use squares. So I've got like his body, which is like a rectangle, and his head is a square with like a circle for his little nosy, and he's got two little eyes. He's got eyebrows, big fluffy hairdo, fluffy ears, a neck that connects to the rectangle body piece, and he's got a little, oh, he's decided to make noise too. Playing with your toy? Want me to throw it? Then he's got four legs. And then the back legs, boop, boop, boop. It's actually got kind of a longer body than that. I somehow elongated the neck and shortened the torso. But luckily it's a pencil, so we can just kind of move his head down. The cool thing about him is his hair just changes the whole look of him. So I can draw him all different kinds of ways and it still looks like him, you know? <laughs> if that makes any sense. Just because he's a poodle and his hair grows a lot. And so he can look like a completely different dog in a month's time. It's kind of magical. I'll just give him a bandana, even though he hates wearing it, so he never does. <laughs> and then his spots, and like a soap. Sometimes I get him little feet. Because once he did have a haircut where his feet were trimmed and his body was not, and <laughs> I had to take it back, I couldn't handle it. It just looked like he was wearing a little onesie with his tiny feet sticking out, and I, I survived like two days and I couldn't handle it anymore. Ta-da! There's little schmoopums. I want to add line art and like some color though, because that just sounds really fun. All right, just give him his eyebrows. I always like to make my dog smile. She gives them a little personality. We're gonna see, like, I bet when I get to the other dogs, when they're ones that I'm not as comfortable drawing, they're gonna start looking a little bit more realistic because I'm gonna, like, you know, be focused a lot more on the reference. We'll see what happens there. I can't believe it's been almost 11 years since I adopted this little guy. I guess rescued, technically. <laughs> Nobody wanted him because he hated people. Turns out the dogs that hate people are just looking for one specific person to love. <laughs> dang, does he get attached? Well, actually, that's kind of what we found is that he's just been abandoned too many times, so he didn't trust anyone. All right, we should probably add some color. He's like a creamy white with brown spots. I feel like I need to swatch things. The problem is this paper is a little darker than this. That could probably be used for shading. Ooh, that's kind of a very light version of his spots. So I'm just gonna throw that in where he's got spots just to start with. I wonder if I just layered this a couple times if I would deem that good enough. Oh, that looks kind of done. I suppose I could just use this for some shading. But then I might need to darken up the browns. Need something slightly darker. Don't have like too much. That is too orange. More brown. It's honestly like almost black. Yep. I was so intimidated by using colors like these because they just rip right through your line art. <laughs> you know what I mean? There you go. Now I can probably use the color I used for the spots for shading. I'll figure out what color to do the bandana after I see like other colors on the page, I think. Let's do another dog. Another doggy, so we'll write poodle. What next? I know I've drawn pugs. Should I just do a pug? <gasps> Could I do a Maltese? That won't take very long to color if I just do like a white <laughs> Maltese. I'm gonna do it. Basically, it's the same, except shorter. So like this rectangle, and the legs are a little shorter. Boop. But the body's still like the same length. Maybe a slightly shorter neck and wider eyes, I think. Like his are so close together, but they have very dark eyes and dark noses. They also kind of have that little fuzzy thing on top of the head. Big long ears. There's a little smile. The body's a little longer than that. As much as I like to ignore it, I'm pretty sure his tail was cut before I ever met him. And that makes me like so freaking sad to think about. Like, I don't understand why. Why you would like physically alter the look of a dog. But I think Maltese usually have longer tails. Let me find a better reference. Mm, just more poofy. Like a big <laughs> fuzzy pom-pom. What it looks like in this reference is it's like curling up and then that's like creating a big explosion of tail. All right, I kind of want to sketch over it again though because it is just a little messy. 
that better? Confusing. Just doesn't look like my dog. That's all I know. That's all I know. There you go. Neck and then the little leggies. More fluffy than that. A little more hair on them. This is definitely starting to look like a different breed. This is working. This is working. <gasps> you know, how am I doing this without doing the like adorable one where like the hair is up in a little uh, a bow? I think I gotta look at that. Ooh, with the little poof. <laughs> And like a big long tail. I think that might do it. Although this one that I'm looking at, also the legs are just a little bit longer haired. All right, let's add some line art, a little color. And just simplify it too, to a certain extent. Looks like Darth Vader. <laughs> Oops. A little Maltese pooper. Now this is just white, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can give her a little pink bow. Uh, we'll just use a red gray. A little shadow. Voila! I feel like I should add shadows under them too. Purple be good for that. That's a little too purple. We'll see if more pencil wants to erase later. When I give it the old one, two, I want to do a golden retriever. I've never drawn a golden retriever. I might have tried to draw a golden retriever before, but I don't think I've ever been successful. Let's see. So essentially, you've kind of got that same, obviously, shape of a dog. And they've got a head and whatnot. And bigger noses than I've been drawing. And they're almost always like, I'm just happy to be alive. Which, honestly, we can all learn a thing or two. <laughs> Now they, this one I'm looking at has very much like a mane of fur. Ooh, I don't know if I saved enough room. Maybe if we twist them a little more. Find that nose, the eyes, <laughs> nice tongue. Also, I just wanna bring these legs up. Here's pretty long even coming down this way on this dog. This is tricky because there's so much like flowiness. Do you think the head maybe is too high? I don't know, they do have a lot of neck though. Maybe the head's just too small. I do like it, but it might be for the greater good. Let's make it a bit bigger. They definitely have a lot smaller chins. I think I'm just used to my dog that has a lot of hair on his chin. Most dogs don't look like that. Like their mouths are literally right at the bottom. Don't like that. <laughs> kind of lost how big Yard was drawing it. Try a different angle. Is that making sense? This is tricky. The head is so different. I might be falling into that, like trying to make it realistic vibe. Realistic is probably not the right word, but I'm not like trusting myself to figure out what it looks like. You know, I think I'm just gonna trust it since I do want to draw a lot of other dogs too. So <laughs> we'll start with the lines that I know I like. The body seems about where I need it to be. Okay, that leg looks broken. <laughs> this piece was supposed to be up at the hip. Can I fix that? <laughs> I'm just realizing that now though. Oh, it's too late. Hey! Oh no! What is happening? There's just too many hairs. And this is, of course, the one I drew the biggest. Oi! Definitely didn't stylize it the same way I did the other ones. It's kind of hard to stylize something when you've never drawn it before, too. So I should be more patient with myself. Here we go. This is me being patient with myself. <laughs> there. <laughs> you didn't say anything. <laughs> Like I should have just drawn more chunky shapes. Less of this like hatching stuff. I think because I did this one and added it and it worked. I forgot why it worked there, which cause I kind of simplified it. Whereas this, I was just like adding in fur all over the place. It was the wrong decision. All right, let's make this blondy blonde. Light suntan is great for the top. And then I need like a blonde color for the rest. Ooh, that honestly wouldn't work bad for the top either. That's not bad. That might be it. Start with light suntan. Do like the ears. Ooh, that is kind of the perfect color. Wow. Can I just build it up in a sort of a golden retriever-esque style? And probably blend that out with that next color. This is actually fruit pink, so it's actually pink. But kind of blend those areas. Okay, I'm gonna switch to, wait, that wasn't called pink. What was this called? It's called pink flamingo, but this one is called pale fruit pink. And that's gonna be my white. Fill in the rest. And then the nose looks like it should probably be black. And like the lips and everything, and like around here, thicken that up. Get a little more of that dark color. That should probably do it. I actually do think it kind of hid some of the issues. What if I grab like a Posca pen? Add yeah, just a little extra fuzzies. There we go. That'll do me. I think we'll move on to another one. Maybe we could fit something tiny up there. What about like a King Charles Spaniel or whatever? Why did that come to mind? Cocker Spaniel. Oh, that's not what I thought it was at all. Oh, no. 
is so cute. Let's try it. So it's like Lady from Lady and the Tramp. This is the head. And then we have, we try and simplify this more. Long ears, <laughs> two eyes, make her sit. Kind of got like a little bit of a droopy mouth. The head kind of pops up a lot higher out of the ears. Let's try and keep it more simple. <laughs> trying to think more like when I draw my dog. Like I don't try to make things perfect. I kind of just have fun with it. And that's what I'm trying to do here. I feel like this dog just has a lot bigger eyes. It looks a little sadder. Definitely find the fuzzier ones easier to draw because I don't have to try as hard. <laughs> you just draw fuzz and you're like, hey, it's a dog. What's our tails look like? Oh, they're just little tiny things. Fuzzier legs seems to be a trend. Okay, this might be my favorite one. Is that some line art? I just want to follow it exactly. Let's not, let's not be creative here. This isn't the time. I'm gonna not color in the eyes till after I erase everything. Give it a little color. And the back leg would be there somewhere. Oh! See how it looks erased. Hey, we didn't have the eye bleeding problem. Now I'll just add that in now. Beautiful. Happy with that one. All right, so for colors, it's a little, um, the picture I'm looking at now. But I saw some really cool ones with like black and white spots that look really fun. I might follow one like that. So basically I need like a cool gray and a white with like a light gray for adding in more texture. It's a little too dark actually. How about uh, this one? Yeah. So we'll go in with, we'll go in with this mid-tone first. Basically it's got split right down the center of the face, around the eyes, and down all of the ear. Spots here, ooh, so cute. And sort of like longer streaks here because it's longer hair. And then it gets a lot thicker as you reach the bottom. Blend it upwards. And then we'll add in that darkest gray for our black. Basically. Oh, this doesn't have a brush pen. Where did I get this? I don't want to like lose the eye, you know? We can do that and then blend that out. So it's like getting darker and closer to the right color, but also not too overwhelming. It's a nice like salt and pepper vibe. All right, that's four down. We got a lot of room left to go. We could probably fit something in right here. Name another dog breed. Pug, yeah. We should do the pug while I'm still fresh, you know? I wonder if I could do it actually without a reference. I remember they have like very square faces <laughs> with these little tiny like triangle ears. Really wide set eyes with a nose like right here. Little smiles. And then I think these are black. Maybe this part's black. But then where does the body come from? <laughs> like this, some little leggies. Further backwards. Another leg. And then they have these little tails that I like cinnamon bun up. Oh, well, that's what I remember. There's like, I think this goes around the smile. What does the neck look like? Look how much neck they got. I think I just need to redraw the head and then maybe we'll be ready for line art. Maybe I'll just look up a reference though for the face. It's like where the whiskers would go. This is where his little chin is. Bigger feet. No feet. Gave it kind of a wider stance. I think this should be rounder. I'm just gonna go for it and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Again, I'm not gonna color in the eyes because I don't want that to happen. That's another problem. I can't really make him smile. Body. No, oh, I think I wanted that tail to kind of go in front of that. Oh well. Ooh, I think that turned out pretty good. I will take it, I'll take it. Let's see what if we can ruin it with some colors. I mean, let's add a little color. I feel like I need this color. This is like the color of the dog. Just a little base. Okay, and then there's like a gray around the eyes and the nose. I'm gonna start with this lighter version. The ears. Sometimes they have a little bit on their feet. That's about it usually. Maybe shadows. Darken up this. Blend in the lighter gray outwards from there. And a little bit more of the darker. Especially around the eyes, I think would look good. Mm, I really like this one. All right, now let's color in those eyes so they look a little less creepy. Maybe the nose too. There we go. This one might be my favorite now. It looks like a puppy. I don't know if it's the way I drew the legs or what, but it's so cute. All right, that's five. We're not doing too shabby. Let's do, ooh, what about like a, well, I was gonna say Pomeranian, but they're like similar colored, you know? I feel like I should expand my color palette here. I can't believe I wasn't filming, but I decided to do a miniature pincher and I, this is how much I've gotten. Basically I put a little square, I did a pointy nose and like two pointy ears and the eyes kind of more like here. Okay, now I'm gonna do the neck, chest, and they have little legs here and that body kind of elongates and then they have a really long back leg like that and that kind of like comes out 
and then there's more leg. Now this, there's like no fur. <laughs> it's like skin tight here. So I got no leeway really. I don't see a tail at all, but I might add a little something. And then there's like the pattern. And then there's like little spots here of a different color. And then the back leg's a whole different color. There we go. That looks about right. So this is called a mini pin, not pincher, pincher. I don't know if that's pronounced. Well, there, there it is. All right, adding some line art. Very pointy. Oh, cute. Since he's kind of darker colored, I might not even bother erasing the pencil. I'll just go ahead and grab this Stella for all of the lighter colored bits. And the rest is, I'd almost call it blue, but it's black. It's a little bit uh, like a cool gray. We'll start with this. I color that in. Okay, this one might be my new favorite. <laughs> I keep saying that. I just like certain things about all of them. Nice. I like him. Let's find another doggy walkie. What the heck is a papillion? I've seen it before, but I didn't know what they were. Let's see where we can fit it. What if I draw a really small one like right here? Ears. I feel like a lot of Star Wars things were inspired by dogs because I'm getting vibes. And then a big fuzzy tail, kind of like that one. No, that one. <laughs> <laughs> the hair just kind of like falls really weird. Sort of like that. Let's see, let's add a little liner. A little smile. Okay, let's try this funky hair. Little legs. Tail back here. Hmm? <laughs> Does that look right? Okay, so it's mostly white with some dark suntan spots. Thing on like the feet, and then some kind of shadow, probably. Ah, that looks good too. Having a lot more luck lately. <laughs> All right, let's do. What about like a border collie? Where am I gonna stick this? We'll just jump down here. Figure out where the body's gonna go. Here, here, eyeballs. I really have a hard time with these larger breeds. Oh my god. is wrong. Are these legs maybe too far apart? Something just looks so weird. Am I just like overcomplicating it again? If anything needs to move. Got eyes. And from there would be a snout. Should we make the nose right here maybe? Simple. It's simple. Keep it simple. <laughs> Does saying it help? I don't know. Maybe just making sure it's fun shapes kind of helps. Hmm? I'm just trying to make it like fun to draw, you know? So basically this piece is like this. It has actually a quite a long swoosh backwards and that is like the leg. It's not quite as simplified as like the front legs. And the tail. Just kind of use up some of this space which probably won't get used otherwise. Some fun little cuts into it. Let's add some line art. And then this little piece. So it's interesting. It's a very similar shape to this, but I think I figured out how to put it into my style this go around, which is really exciting. <laughs> Putting me in quite the good mood. Kind of like learning what looks how I want to draw dogs, you know? Not necessarily just like copying it. And tail. Voila! Ah, oh, yes. See? Look at the difference. So essentially, it's kind of like black all around. The eyes again. Basically, it kind of just follows along the back and down the arms. Oh, so cute. I love when it goes right. Oh my gosh. Just shows you gotta have patience with yourself. Nobody's perfect. And I think even though we know we're not, we can still be like way too hard on ourselves. And then I'll use that cool gray for a little extra shading. Yes. Yes! I love it. I'm getting better. This is exciting. Beautiful. There's a little border collie. It's beautiful. What's another dog breed? Dachshund. I don't feel like I've ever been able to pronounce that. How do you pronounce Dachshund? Dachshund. Oh my gosh. I feel so stupid. I've definitely heard that before. All right. Let's draw a little Dachshund. Basically, they got like their little heads in their ears. And they've got a little body with a little leg. And then this is a their body. And they have little legs. I'm just following this like silhouette I found. Doesn't give me total uh, visuals. I think we'll just keep it simple. Why not? Add in the line art. 
And a little tail. Alright, little color. I'm thinking we'll go with these same colors because that just looks cool. And go over that with the neutral gray four. Fill that in. There you are. Ducks and... Hey, I can say it now. Alright, next. Next! Oh, I still want to do the Pomeranian. I'm gonna make this the biggest squishiest one you've ever seen! Okay, maybe not ever, but I'm gonna try my best to make it squishy. It's like if it's little faces in here with its nose and everything. Then what, we'd have a big fluffiness <laughs> with little ears sticking out? Okay, and somewhere in here is his body. And it's all gonna be very fluffy. And a big fluffy tail. Will that do? I feel like I expected it to look cuter than that. Try adding in some line art, maybe. There's a little ear here, and a little ear here, and then lots and lots of fuzzy fuzzy hair. More fuzzies. And the tail. Hmm? How's that look? There we go. And erase some of this pencil. And then their color is kind of a little bit of the dark or light suntan. Kind of like the golden retriever probably. We'll start with the darkest areas. This might help make it look a little bit more 3D by like adding in texture. Okay, next to the next slightest. We'll see a little shadow for down there. A little bit more white in here. It's actually like a little cheek. I do think I need some kind of shading color. Maybe this red gray just to kind of create that shape without like making it look like it's just a different colored fur. And voila! <laughs> My Pomeranian! Try do another big dog, maybe? You know, I haven't done like a Yorkie or something. Yorkshire Terrier. Ah! So cute. All right. Yep, definitely drawing you. Also, I never colored that in. I'm just gonna color it in red. Little accessories. There we go. All right. Where was I? You look like big. Heads full of hair. Pointy ears. Nostrils in there somewhere with eyes. Big hairy legs. With a nice tail. I did not leave enough space for that. Let's see, let's see. There we go. <laughs> now it's not like touching that one, you know? Tail seems really big. It's this far away. I don't think you'd see that much of it. There we go. The line art! Keep it simple. Other leg <laughs> somewhere back there. Nice. This one has a sloppy vibe to it. But he's still cute, so we're fine. What color do we want to do this? Maybe I'll use that pink instead of this suntan on the face. And then we need like a lighter gray. It's pretty dark on the tail. It's like lighter around here. And we do need a little bit more maybe of the suntan around the face. Add some vibrancy. How's that? Looks like a Chewbacca. I would walk away with this and be happy, but I want to see how many different breeds I can draw. So we got a little ways to go. How about like a little Italian Greyhound? Oh, that was in a sweater. Oh my gosh. Anyway, they have a tiny little head with big ears. Quite large necks, I feel like, for the head size. <laughs> oh, that is not enough space because they have really long legs. Hmm. But I could fit them over here, maybe. Big neck, little body. Really, really long legs. And then their bodies are actually really different from what I've been drawing. Like their spines are bent or something. And then they have the really long legs again. And then that tail, it kind of goes between their legs and then out from there. Bring their head up a little bit. Big eyebrows on their little heads. What's it called? Italian Greyhound. There we go. Alright, how about an eye? And a little nosy. Round it back. And the leg. Oops, my pencil slip. Oh, pen. So that's gonna be just an extra skinny leg, or I could just do this. Alright, he's just got noodly legs. That's fine. Alright, next up is coloring. It's basically gray. Maybe just a little bit of this. So that's basically back here and here and under this. Right, and then gray for everything else. Let's start with this lighter gray. We might just switch to the other one for like some finishing touches. This is not- <laughs> this pen's dying on me. Switch to a darker one. And more of that pink, I think. Put more of that natural vibe. Nice! I feel like I'm getting quicker at these. <laughs> Which is good, because I'm kind of running out of time for the day. 
<laughs> All right, that's fine. Another dog. What about like a St. Bernard or something? That's like a big dog. It would probably fill up this whole space. They're like so big. Ay! Oh, maybe if I do one that's more trimmed up, I'll be able to see body shape. That's their head. They got ears. Nose is a bit more like that. What am I doing? That also is not gonna fit here if I draw the head that big. Try this again. We'll maybe move the head up a little higher. We got a neck. We got the body. We've got leg. Oh shoot. Still not gonna fit. Not really sure how long the body is from this picture. So their nose, they have really big noses. And they kind of have like hangy skin bits. <laughs> no offense. And there's the head. Okay, and then we have the body. I do not have enough room for the actual legs, but we will uh, just have to make do. You know, after drawing so many different breeds, it's like you have to really pay attention to what makes them different or they would all look exactly the same. So I'm like trying to be very conscious of that so I don't lose it. This one I basically copied the reference. You know, except I shrank the legs down a lot. They should be at least here, but I simply do not have the space. All right, Leonard Apali. Well, I just threw a cap. Cam, get recapitated. We got an ear. Do eyeballs, eh? The old nose. Really long, whatever this is called. Add a little fuzz to that. There we go. What are we thinking? Let's see if color helps. <laughs> Most of the dog's white, but then it also has some of the suntan color, but then it also gets a little darker around the eyes and the ears and transition that into this one. Oh my gosh why did that pick up the eyeball but the other thing didn't maybe we'll just make the whole thing dark kind of continues down the back of this leg actually and the back here not sure what the tail looks like can't see it in my reference but i'll just add a little something go into the darker one because it needs to be way darker than that even i feel like this part is this color and then i need something even darker we'll just go over the whole thing again with this Maybe staying away from the edges, just so it kind of blends out into the white. Fuzzy texture, since it's a bigger dog, I don't know. All right, now I need something even darker. Let's go with that dark gray first for this front of the face here. And all of this. Maybe I'll try and erase the pencil. Or add any kind of white. I'll use this pale fruit pink for the white. Just to bring like a color difference from the paper. I could probably use this to lighten it back up and redraw those eyes because they gone, see. Oh, I'll add a little shading. Or we could use warm gray. Good old shading. Looks a little green. But there we have it, our St. Bernard. I just realized the legs are kind of like moving forward. Like he's leaning that way. I don't know if I drew that funny. <laughs> well, there we go. St. Bernard. Okay, we got room to probably stick something up here. I don't know if I want to try and squeeze too many more in here. What about a chihuahua? I'm going to try. We'll stick them right up in here. Pointy ears. More pointy than that. And the face is almost low on their head, like they've got little eyes down here. So they have a little body, and they have little legs. Little body, and their little tails. All right, line art. I think I'll do the not so hairy one. I've done quite a few hairy animals, you know. Little tail. It's cute. It's cute. I messed up the neck, but oh, it's still cute. What color do we want to do this chihuahua? I want to do the one that's more Pomeranian color. So I need pink flamingo. Start there. Go around the little head. Tail. So cute. Chihuahua. That made me want to draw more. What's something else? It would have to be something small. I'm gonna just draw and see what dog it ends up looking like. What's something with a poofy tail? It must be something like a collie. What is this? <laughs> it looks very fox-like. I'm gonna pull the tail down just so it looks more dog-like. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just make the ears lower. There we go. Now it's a dog. Perfect. I'm gonna just colored in gray. Oh, this is way darker than gray. This is like black. Here we go. Here's my mutt. Here's my made-up mutt. <laughs> there you <we> go. <laughs> anyway, look at all these. This was really fun. It was definitely a bit of a challenge because there's just so many. I feel like I, honestly, after doing the Golden Retriever, I feel like I really figured out what I wanted from this. Because, like, you can know what you want in your head, but that doesn't mean you know the steps to get there or even what, what you look, what's in your head looks like. So I'm honestly just really happy that I was able to kind of get so much closer to what I wanted. So thank you guys for watching. Um, So how many did I draw here? One, two, three, four, five. 
5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 doggies in one spread. I could probably squeeze more in, but I don't want to. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week, and I hope you have a delicious evening. Bowl of waffles. Bye!